right, so today we are at Classic Resto Garage in Escondido, California with David Toth, and we are checking out his 65 Corvette build. Uh, he got in touch with us because he's got a trans tunnel that's basically bare, and we're going to throw some sticky shield in there uh, instead of the OEM heat shield. All right, let's get started. So we uh, cut our template and if everything uh, measured out right, we'll set it up in the tunnel and see if it fits in there and then we'll transfer it onto our uh, heat shield. There we go. So it fits up in there. And of course, we're not gonna make all these relief cuts on our, our uh, product. This is just for the cardboard because it's thicker and more rigid. And then we will pull the sticky uh, backing off and only stick it on the inside tunnel and leave these with the backing on there so we can kind of maneuver it and push it in place and then remove the uh, sticky material off and then set it. Because once you do that, then it's not going to come off. Everything is going to be all right. on our piece that we traced out uh, earlier. So we got a center line and we trace out the outer part first and then we just took these and folded these in and traced out our inner part. This is the inner part of the uh, tunnel. And then trace it all the way back and on this side, all the way back. So we have our inner and our outer. We get an idea, we'll lay it in there. And then wherever it starts to bind is where we'll make our slot cut. We're not gonna make these many slot cuts, only where it's binding. And then we'll cover up those seams with the, uh, the tape. It should be good to go. Here, but I think once we get it and manipulate it in, it should be fine. All 
we're gonna have to make a relief cut here. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, because it's a bend here, so we need to make a, like a slot. Let's see, right about there. Cut once. Junkyard so One of the cool things about visiting people in their shops is they come up with different ideas than what we do at Heat Shield. We started the paper from the back of the sticky shield, but we don't want to pull the paper off this side just yet. So what he is gonna do is peel and basically score the razor blade along this line so we can get it stuck up in there and then start the edges once we have it in there. opening exactly on this edge over here on the inside it's fine but on the outside where this transitions at I'm gonna leave a little bit of extra material because I got to push it up more and I want to make sure I have enough coverage and then I'll cut it exact but I'm gonna leave a little extra here so David, I'm gonna put all of his information down below in the comments so you guys can check out his stuff. If you like this video, just like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Check out the next video. This is Wade. I don't wait. I'm only. Check it, check us out on uh, no, YouTube. No, if, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, there you go. If you like this video, just uh, See, right, uh, like, like comments. Oh, okay. Can you hold up here for a second? Number 
little height challenge. Okay. 